Hello there everyone and welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie the plastic frangi and this is a variation of a frangi pattern. So really simple fly but only using plastic materials or synthetics. So the hook I have is the partridge sprout wet in size 14 and I've paired this with a 2.3 millimeter tungsten bead in the color jet black. The thread I'm using is the Semperfly Nano Silk 80 knot in beige. So just started right behind the eye, putting down a little bit of thread going back to about the midpoint and then going back up again just right behind the beat. And here we're going to tie in the first material. Before that I'm just going to go through quickly all the materials that we need for the fly. I will also leave them all the materials in the description below. So for this as I said earlier it's a really simple fly so we only need three materials. So for the tail and the body I'm going to be using this Vivas body quill. This one is the BQ8 which is brown. For the rib I'm going to use the Semperfly tying wire. This one is in the size medium so 0.2 millimeter in the color March brown. And then last some dubbing for the color up right behind the bead. So here I'm going to use some SLF prism in the color fluorescent pink. So I'm gonna take off of the spool about 30 centimeters or so of the body quill and with this you can tie about three of these flies in the size 14. So I just cut it off the spool and then I'm gonna double this making sure that the ends meet and then I'm gonna take this doubled over I'm gonna pass it underneath the thread so with tension with the weight of the bobbin you can just put this right on top and then holding the tag ends and the other end I'm gonna pull this till I have just the tails extending a little bit more than the shank length behind the fly. Then pull down on your thread to keep this in place. I'm gonna take this doubled over material. So now we have four times these strands, and I'm gonna take my thread down keeping all this right on top of the hook and here we're gonna go down to just before the bend of the hook and now stop just leave everything sticking out the back now time for the wire so I've already taken off a little piece of the spool and this one I'm gonna put on my side so right up inside the bead and then keeping this on my side I'm gonna advance the thread touching turns always use touching turns we want to keep the underbody as smooth as possible. So go up right behind the bead and here we created a really thin and even underbody. Now take the two ends or the long where you have the loop and this we're gonna advance so this time as well touching turns just want to cover 
the thread with this body quill. So go up to right behind the bead and then tie this off two times behind, then pull the material back two times. Now it's secured. Come in with your scissors and cut this away. Now for the rib, gonna make one turn at back and then with open spiral turns we're gonna make about five of them on a size 14 and then come in with your thread two three times behind two times in front then like to go up once more behind then just bend and break the wire away now we can cut our tail so these we want to be just a little bit longer than half of the body then I'm gonna take just a few drops of UV resin and this one is really thin so it's gonna soak down into the material and I'm just pushing it down making sure that it coats all around and this step is optional so if you don't have any UV resin or you don't want to use it you can just skip this part then I'm gonna zap it with light just a few seconds now the only thing left to do is to build up a small color with our dubbing. This one is the SLF Prism Fluorescent Pink. So take just a few strands. We want to build up a really thin dubbing noodle as we don't need too much of this. And I like to keep my flies quite sparse. And then get this started and once you have anchored the dubbing you can continue twisting it and pulling it back and this will keep it really thin and just do one turn in front of the other we don't want to push this back going this direction we want to keep all the turns coming down from the bead and laying on top of the last one there we go and what you can do with this really thin nano silk is just bury it in between the dubbing and the bead so you don't even see it then lastly Take your whip finisher. I'm gonna do two three turn whip finishes as I am not going to use any glue on this one, and the nano silk is quite slippery, so this will keep it in place. And if you have a few strands that are just a little bit too long or out of place, just cut them away. There we have it, this really easy variation of the Frenchy called Le Plastique Frenchy. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time and happy time!